All right, so in this lecture, what we're going to talk about is connecting to databases. Now, connecting to databases is kind of an advanced topic, but it's something that's really important for you to understand how to do because quite frequently you're going to need to get data out of, say, an ERP system, which stands for Enterprise Resources and Planning Software, or a CM CRM database, which stands for Customer Relationship Management um, an example of that would be like Salesforce, if your company has that. Okay, so I'm in the data science workflow with R, and you can see right down here they have ODBC slash DBI. I'm going to right click and click open link in a new tab. And that's going to open up this uh, tab here called connect to a database, which is if you look up here in the, in the upper left, this is db.rstudio.com. And, I, and we have getting started connect to a database and this tells you how to get started with uh, the ODBC and the DBI packages for connecting to databases. So um, this, I just want to show you this as a resource. Um, there's a lot of information out. Um, so if you click just the databases using R, this is kind of the home page um, and it goes over some of the, the common places that you want to go to such as RStudio products, uh, use best-in-class packages, and then the, um, promote the best-in-class packages. And then on the left-hand side, you can see a pane that has getting started, which is where we were, connect to a database, um, database queries, uh, the different packages, and um, some of the best practices, and then also the databases that they have incorporated. Uh, as I had mentioned, we're going to be focusing on SQLite here, uh, and we're pretty much going to be following this type of process. So we're going to uh, use the RSQLite package. Um, we're going to use uh, we're going to use this function called dbConnect to connect to a, a SQLite database, and so on. So um, I just wanted to show you this as a um, as as a resource. It's uh, going to be very useful for you. Uh, because chances are you may have like an Amazon Redshift database or a Salesforce database. So you can just click on these and it'll give you the instructions to get connected to those. So this is uh, Redshift, uh, Salesforce, which is a CRM database, and so on.